Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to import into a module using a CSV file. Later, I will show you how to import into a module from another module or from another model. And finally, I will show you how to clear data faster when you realize that you're going to use a formula on the LAN item and you don't want the import involved in that specific LAN item. So now choose a module that you want to import into. Anaplan usually refers this as a target module. So let's open this and let's click on data import. And since we're going to be importing from a CSV, we're going to click on upload new file and go and select the file. And this I usually leave it to default and column separators comma and text delimiter those co single quotation mark decimal separator it's a dot but i know sometimes in europe they use a comma on decimal separators so but for most people in the united states it's a dot so and then on header row you need to pay attention to this because this is source data and sometimes a header row is on the second row instead on the it's instead of on the first row. For example, if the column headers were on the second row, then you will need to change this to two. And then you see how automatically it puts first row data to three. So since it's actually on the first row, I'm gonna change it back to the first and then change the first row data to the second row and when it comes to set default file if you want your coworkers to have access to this file you can set it to admins only or everyone so in this time i'm gonna keep it to private so now let's hit next and we're gonna map map the item so the source which is over here uh, the way it is the sku we're gonna select the sku column two and then the rest of the column headers we're gonna leave this default as column headers and we're gonna keep it like this to clear target prior to import now if you only want it to update imported sales you can select this as well let's go to the sku flat to see if the items are mapped they are, it looks like. And we're gonna keep it to match items in the source. We target items to clear prior to, uh, uh, to import. Mostly, you need to keep it here to match items in the source. Some people want all mapped items or all items, and they can select that as well. And match on names or codes. and it looks like it automatically mapped, but if there was something that was not mapped, because maybe the source and the target have like a difference of like a dot, an extra letter or something, you can click on map items manually. But let's go to Sys12 SKU details tab and click on um, map items manually. We're gonna click on that because as you can see, the source column name, is product code but on the target module the one we're actually importing into it just says product that's why it was not mapped automatically because the names just do not match so we're gonna click on map items manually as you can see the ones that were already mapped stayed mapped and we're gonna click on product code and click on product the one we want to map it to and we're gonna keep it to map items in the source uh, the were items that should be cleared prior to import and let's run an import and the import was successful let's close it and then now if you wanted to import from another module or from another model uh this is what you would do i'm not going to do it but i'm i'm going to just show you how it's usually done so you go to data import and instead of upload new file you click on to connect to anaplan model and then you can choose another model or current model 
whichever one that you want to import from but never import from a list and never import from a module the best practice is to import import from a saved view and this is good because you don't want any surprises as far as um, as far as the source data is concerned so before you import from another module or another model make sure that to always create uh, a module and then create a save you from that module um, so that you don't have to have like any issues whatsoever so now you just close because i'm not importing from there so let's think that there was a time that you wanted to actually clear the data because you want to use the formula instead of um instead of the data that you imported so you're gonna go to a first cell and then clear the data and hit enter and then now you're gonna click on this icon and it's gonna clear everything below that data uh, so now it's cleared and you have the option to actually write a formula or something and the other thing is if this had two dimensions as you can see it only has one dimension it's scale you flat if you had an, another dimension like um, employees for example that are assigned to that SKU flat then make sure that you go to that that dimension and clear the data as well let me know if you have any questions i hope to talk to you soon bye bye